On Universal Sports, our first event, the women's 400 IM, we're poised to have the B finalists enter. This is a an event that has an extraordinary representation. About the only major swimmers that are not here this weekend are winning. And this would be the event where you, you might feel the absence of Elizabeth Beisel, Natalie Coglin, Rebecca Sony. They're really the only three notable grounding that are not here. Yeah, Elizabeth Beisel, the world champion in yes. this event. So that's definitely a, a notable absence, although I mean, if you look across the board, both for men and women, as we said on, uh, at the very beginning, Ted, overall, this is such an incredible field. You've got, what, 1,800, 1,900 swimmers here overall. Um, you said that a lot of kids are coming up off of the college season, a lot of high schoolers here. 25 countries represented. Not as big of an international field as we've had in the past at some of these Grand Prix, but, and, the, and the biggest reason is because a lot of these international kids are home, either they're training for the games, it's four months away, or they're having their trials or coming off their Olympic trials. The U.S. Olympic trials is, is held in June. And that's a story that, uh, that's, that's been pretty significant. It gets smothered a little bit in our country this time of the year, but Australia has had their trials already. France has had their trials, and that involves notable names. Yeah, a lot of big names that we were, the Ian Thorpes and Libby Trickett of the world, just had their trial. This is the B final. The this is a one of those fields that highlights what Roddy was just talking about. We have six in this B final, including 15-year-old Hannah Moore from Raleigh. She's in lane four. 16-year-old Bethany Galat from, I've tried to convince Roddy for years that that sleeper swim, swim town of South Bend, Indiana. Bethany's from South Bend, about three hours north of here. Alexandra Blankenberg, 16-year-old from Michigan, Oakland Swimming Club. She's in lane two. Good start right here in the middle of the pool, and as we move forward, we're going to be keeping our eyes on the middle of the pool, although that pool this last night with Michael Phelps in a couple of the outside lanes, but for the most part, the best swimmers will be swimming in lanes four or five, maybe lanes three. And right now, Hannah Moore in lane four, the leader, and Caroline Arkidian, a 17-year-old from Michigan, in lane five, just above Hannah Moore, was in second place. Where you're right about teenagers, you've got set of, seven of them here. And, and Ted, I think being three months out, most of these swimmers now will probably be pointing toward 2016 as far as having any kind of hope of even making an Olympic final, especially with these B swimmers. Uh, a lot of the A swimmers, you can almost get a sense of, you know, who that top two or three are going to be in each event. Now. We're, we're, we're so close. What about qualifying just to go to the trials? Well, qualifying for the trials, you can still qualify, and that's going to be a big meet. Right now, they're, I think there's close to 1,800 swimmers that have qualified for the Olympic trials, so that it's going to be a huge meet in Omaha, right on a basketball court. They're going to put that 50-meter pool, and we'll have a good 10, 15,000 people every night, so it's going to, going to be an exciting competition. The, the Olympic trials, to me, is is more dramatic than, and more stressful than any other meet, and that includes the Olympic games. It's, look, that's everything, right? Missing up the trials. Yeah, it's an unbelievable feeling. And, and the problem is, is, it, is the fact that it's so country. And we just this week lived through that as a country, watching our young soccer players, even though soccer is a sport where the World Cup is still considered the premier event, you felt for those young soccer players that will not get the Olympic experience. And we don't have that. In we don't have a World Cup. Right. We have the, World Cup. the World Cup for many soccer players. Too. Is still right in the middle there. Hannah Moore. Caroline Arakili in second. Those watch it there in front of you. Going across up here to lane eight. One at the bottom, eight at the top. Here, and she is going to look like just finished second. Boy, what a close touch. That was about three tenths of a difference. Hannah Moore. A 15-year-old from Raleigh ends up winning the B final. Good name and to she watch. she really held on. That 